All right, so we got a red day recap today. We're going to break it down, see what went wrong, see what we could have done better, et cetera, et cetera. So GBP AUD, this was a short play this morning. So what was my thesis on this? Why did I go short? Well, we're going to start on the daily chart and we're going to break it down. Let's just clear this off real quick. All right, so daily chart on GBP AUD is currently bearish. Okay, we're operating within a bearish market structure. We're consistently trending lower. We're consistently breaking new lows, operating within a bearish market structure on the daily chart. All right, so I know I'm trading with the overall trend. So there's that's that. That's a bonus. That's what we want. We want to be trading with the trend. Now on the on the four hour chart, this is something that I really really liked. We are or we came up this morning and we tested a bearish order block. See this. See this up move right here? That's a bearish order block. So that's a level of resistance. So I like seeing that. That was another reason for going short this morning. Fair value gap confirmation, which is what I like to see because it shows me that there was aggressive selling this morning. And boom. So we had that as well. So consider everything so far. The fact that the larger time frame is operating within a bearish market structure or our bearish order block fair value got confirmation so we had several things going in our favor on this and that was my reason for hitting this play grabbed it as it retraced up into that level and also another thing 20 institutional price level 20 institutional price your institutional price levels are your 0 0 20 50 80 those are your institutional price levels okay so we had several things on this but as you can see it did end up taking out high day which was my stop that was my stop out point. It just could not, it could not roll over for me. I wanted to see it attack these lows, attack these lows. And well, it couldn't do it. Now it is worth noting. So if we're breaking this down, like what went wrong? Overall, it was a solid setup. Overall, this was a solid setup. It's something I would take again. But it's worth noting that we got really, really high impact news tomorrow, CPI. And whenever something like that happens, or we even, even the day before, sometimes it can have in impact on the market you'll see a lot of fake outs and that's worth noting but still overall i can't complain too much about the play it was it was a nice setup overall and it's something i would hit again and euro cad same deal i took an l on this this morning so market structure daily chart oh, market structure daily chart is 100 bearish see how we're consistently taking out these lows taking out these lows taking out these lows taking out these lows we're consistently trending lower now this is something i noted we didn't trade up into it just yet but once we do it could give a really nice opportunity see this this right here that's a bearish order block that's a bearish order block on your daily chart that's a level that you want to keep a close eye on because once it is trading up into that level we could see some i think you could see a really nice reaction off that level right there so that's what you want to note and i like this as well this is our draw on liquidity see this big swing level right there you want to keep a close eye on that that's what i wanted to see it take out today it just it couldn't do it it just a matter of mistiming it now we did have this large move right here so discount market i understand so that's one thing worth noting the fact that we just had this large move lower and but it, it was showing signs of reversals i thought it was going to take it out because again we have this low which is just right here it's just barely Barely missing it by hair right here. I figured it was going to want to sweep that level before it traded up higher. I know it's going to want to trade up into this and rebalance this portion of price action up here, but I didn't think it was going to do it right right now. I thought it was going to want to sweep. I figured it was going to want to sweep this level first, but it just couldn't do it. My thesis behind that was the fact that we rebalanced this portion of price action, this first fair value gap. See this? See how we rebalanced that? And then we showed signs that we were topping out right here, aka a swing high was formed on the four hour chart. And one hour market structure was 100% bearish to the downside, operated within a bearish market structure. And yep, so that was my thesis on it. And I went, I went short up in here, looking for that move lower to take out these lows. And I was, I was wrong on it. Ended up taking out high day and I got stopped out on it. So two L's and forks this morning is just couldn't get anything to stick, no follow through on anything. And well, that's part of it. That's part of trading. We keep it moving. We keep executing our plan day in, day out. And that's all we can do. Also, it's worth keeping an eye on ES. So I gave a video the other day going over my analysis on the week to come for ES. Like I said, I figured we would have a Judas swing beginning of the week push up into this into this um bearish order block right here which we are doing currently level of resistance as well right here so we got this bearish order block level of resistance drawn up into this imbalance at the current moment and so yeah so we'll see what it does here pretty soon i do 
think it's going to want to sweep these lows. Does it have to? No, but I think we're going to see, we could see something interesting happen here pretty soon on this. So definitely want to keep an eye on that and how it reacts around this particular area. See if we can get it, get this thing to bend.